Disney is supposed to be a fun, safe, happy place, but it has some evil that lurks underneath it. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. I'm your host, Emily, and today we're counting down the top 10 dark secrets that Disney is trying to hide from you. Number 10, Real Skeleton. While it's common knowledge that members of the public attempt to scatter the remains of their loved ones at Disneyland every year, there has been actual confirmation of human remains resting within the park grounds. Disney officials have confirmed that there is a partial skeleton on display within the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in New Orleans Square that once belonged to a live person. In the 1960s, after Walt's passing, Disneyland designers decided that the construction of the pirate theme ride did not look as authentic as it should have been with the addition of fake skeletons inside the attraction. In an attempt to resolve the situation, the Imagineers obtained human skeletal remains from the UCLA Medical Center, which they felt provided a creepier, more more convincing atmosphere. Now, while it's unclear when these bones were removed, they remained there for some time and were viewed as part of the ride before eventually being removed and replaced by fake skeletons. However, park workers have confirmed that not all of the bones were removed. The skull and crossbones, which hang over the bed in the treasure room, are still genuine human skeletal parts. Number nine, park accident. In 1984, 48 year old Dolly Young was riding the Matterhorn bobsleds and Disneyland when her seatbelt was unfastened. She fell out and plummeted to the track below, only to be hit by another car and get dragged along the rails before the ride was stopped. Due to this, she got decapitated. She was pronounced dead at the scene due to her massive head and chest injuries. Afterwards, an investigation found that her seatbelt was not buckled. Now it's unclear whether she deliberately unfastened the belt or if the seatbelt had malfunctioned. Since then, the section where she was struck on the Tomorrowland side of the mountain has become known as Dolly's Dip, and park employees claim she still haunts the ride. A former ride operator named Kristen, who worked at the park from 1989 to 1995, claimed that she could feel a supernatural presence while operating the Matterhorn, and that other staffers told her they had seen a ghost while on the job. She said, I worked on that ride for several years, and I never saw her, but I sure did feel her. Number eight. Walt Disney. Although Walt Disney played a part in all of our childhoods, there is no denying that he was also just a bad man. You see, Walt was just straight up racist, and not just because he let Song of the South be made. He would often use slurs and degrade people of color. His hatred didn't stop there, as he had issues with women as well. As Ward Kimball, one of Disney's associates, said, he didn't trust women or cats. Then there's a letter that Disney sent a woman named Mary Ford who wanted to work as an animator. He rejected her outright because women simply didn't do that kind of work for him. In the letter's own words, women do not do any of the creative work as that work is performed entirely by young men. For this reason, girls are not considered for the training school, he said. Now you can blame the times, but this behavior is just unacceptable. Number seven, abandoned parks. Some Disney parks have been abandoned without any clear explanation, with the most controversial one being the River Country, Disney's first water park. While Disney may maintains the river country was closed down because of the decrease in visitors. The reality is, in 2001, Nagaria Fowlery, a brain-eating amoeba, was discovered in the lake surrounding river country. Now, this lake was the major source of water for all the water slides. Therefore, some sources argued that the park was closed because of this amoeba that directly attacks the human brain. Now, what is even more intriguing is that a guest died in 1980 because of the same amoeba, but even then, the river country park remained functional and was only only closed down more than 20 years later in 2001. Number six, virus. Before the events of 2020, there was a virus outbreak at a Disney park in 2014. At Disneyland between December 17th and December 20th, 2014, visitors to the park were exposed to measles, resulting in an outbreak that affected residents of eight US states, as well as Mexico and Canada. The California Department of Public Health was first notified of a suspected measles case on January 5th, 2015, and by February 11th, 2015, at least 39 individuals who had visited at least one of the two adjacent Disney parks during the exposure period had become ill. In addition to this likely direct exposure, secondary and unknown transmissions were numerous, resulting in 
at least 125 cases within the United States by February 11th, 2015. Now, the specific outbreak was declared over in the U.S. in mid-April 2015 after 42 days with no traceable transmissions and 147 having been affected within the United States. Number five, harassment of workers. It seems like wherever you work in the customer service industry, you are bound to deal with customers who go too far. Now, unfortunately, Disney is no exception, and it happens more particularly to the female employees who are dressed up as face characters, like those who walk around dressed as Disney princesses. They get lewd and rude comments, and they even get touched without consent, but since the face characters are never allowed to fall out of character, there isn't much they can do about the harassment. Then for other cast members, tourists scream at them, harass them, and in most serious cases, physically attack them, according to law enforcement reports. There are so many situations, so many things that happen every single day to cast members, said Disney employee Tommy Fontenot, adding that he has seen co-workers crying in the break room. The guests will push the boundaries, we serve as emotional punching bags. As a cast member, you have to develop a thick skin. Now, in one very extreme and widely publicized incident in July 2019, a Disney World employee was punched in the face by an angry 23-year-old Chicago woman who didn't have a valid fast pass for the Tower of Terror. The Disney worker walked away with a swollen eye, but did not want to press charges. Then in two separate incidents in and near the Haunted Mansion, one worker reported a visitor grabbing her crotch, while another reported a different park goer touching her breast twice. The cast members are people too. Please respect them. Number four, employee accident. In 1974, an employee named Debbie Stone was crushed to death between a rotating wall and a permanent theater wall in the America Sings attraction in Disneyland. At around 10.30 p.m. when the last show got over and the stages were shifting position in between the 45 second interval, a guest from the adjacent theater heard a blood chilling scream. When he and operators rushed to the scene, they were horrified to see Debbie Stone crushed between the walls of the two theaters. Now to this day, no one knows exactly what went wrong, but there have been numerous theories. Some state that Debbie may have been inclining towards the adjacent stage to talk to a fellow cast member, or she may have attempted to jump from one stage to the other, or she may have been distracted and stepped backwards without noticing. Either way, this death was just tragic. Number three, Walt's ghost. It's thought that Walt Disney's ghost lingers inside the Disneyland apartment. Shortly after Walt's death, the staff member in charge of cleaning Walt's apartment one night reported turning off the lamp on the way out of the apartment before locking up and leaving. When she got downstairs, she happened to look up and saw that the lamp was still on. Assuming she had made a mistake, she quickly returned upstairs and switched it off. However, when she got downstairs, the lamp was on again. Now, upon her return to the apartment for the second time, she switched the lamp off and waited inside when she heard the lamp click and flare back to life. Since the incident, Disneyland has kept the lamp on, claiming that it serves as a tribute to the park's creator, but it may not be a choice. Now, cast members to this day report seeing a shadowy figure passing in front of the window, noises coming from inside the apartment, and the continual feeling of being watched from the apartment whenever they are in the vicinity. Now, the second most claim to Walt's ghost can be seen in a YouTube video, which went viral in 2015. The park footage shows a dark, mysterious figure walking around Disneyland, California after dark, and in case you were thinking it was probably just one of the workers, think again. The man in the video glides through the park gates and even walks on water. Number two, drownings. In June 1973 and in June 1983, guests drowned in the River of the Americas attraction in Disneyland, both after violating the rules. In the first incident, two brothers stayed in the park after closing. They stayed on Tom Sawyer's Island past closing time by hiding in an area that is off limit to guests. When they wanted to leave the island, they tried to swim across the river, though one of them didn't know how to swim. The older brother attempted to carry his brother on his back and drowned halfway across. His body was found the next morning, and the younger brother was able to stay afloat by dog paddling until a ride operator rescued him. The second incident involved a man drowning by trying to pilot a rubber emergency boat from Tom Sawyer's Island, which he and a friend had stolen from a restricted area of the island during Disneyland's annual grad night. The boat capsized and he drowned, and both individuals were intoxicated at the time of the incident, and the victim victim's mother sued Disneyland for allowing her inebriated son onto the premises, but the lawsuit was unsuccessful. And coming in at number one is Walt Disney was an FBI informant. Now, not many people know that Walt Disney had a special
special relationship with the FBI director, J. Edgar Hoover. Due to this friendship, Disney was one of the rare studios which was allowed to film inside the FBI headquarters in Washington. Now, as a return gesture, Disney granted the FBI access to all the Disney parks and film scripts, which the FBI used to influence time and again. Reportedly, Disney even testified against a group of protesting animators before the House of Committees at the behest of the FBI. Disney's intel was so valuable that he was made special agent in charge contact by the FBI in 1954, signifying that Disney was an individual who was capable of providing resources to the FBI and taking care of PR issues as well. Now, the reports detailing Disney's exchanges with the FBI are available on the Bureau's website itself, having been released to the public due to the Freedom of Information Act. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 dark secrets Disney is trying to hide from you. Did you know about any of these secrets? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I'm your host, Emily, and we'll see you next time. Peace.